Hi, boys and girls. We are here ready to correct our weekly language review number 10. Um, if you are watching this, you should be split screen with your um, assignment that is completed. All days should be complete by now. And then you should use your red correcting tool to correct with me. If you are not done, please go ahead and finish that before you watch this video. Starting on day one, box one. Check the exclamation sentence. Notice it only says sentence, so there's just one. So I'm looking for the one that ends with an exclamation mark. So this is a question mark, period, exclamation point, period. So I know that this is the right one. How beautiful they are. Put an X on all the verbs. Verbs are actions. They're something you can do. Resting. Is resting something you can do? Yes. Look. Can you look somewhere? Yes. Cricket. No, that's a noun. Cage. Is that something you can do? No. Drop. Is that something you can do? Yes. Fern. No, that's a, that's a noun. Puddle. Is puddle something you can do? No. Stomping. Is that something you can do? Yeah. Make the following singular nouns plural. So right now, they're singular, we need plural. One wolf, many wolves. And it should be spelled like this. The F changes to a V-E-S. One shelf, many shelves. Again, our F changes to a V-E-S. S-H-E-L-V-E-S. One wife, many wives. W-I-V-E-S. Check that yours are correct. Circle the better word choice for the underlined word. The principal said that everyone could have a popsicle at recess. The principal replied. Well, that means that someone said something to him first or her first. And we don't know that, so probably not. The principal yelled that everyone could have a popsicle at recess. Mm, maybe. But when you say yell, it sounds kind of negative. The principal exclaimed that everyone could have a popsicle at recess? Yes, exclaimed means to yell something in a very happy way. So I think exclaimed would be the best word. Day two, underline the complete predicate. So the subject is the who or what, the predicate is what they did. The boy dressed as a pirate for his Halloween costume. Well, who's this sentence about? The boy, and what did the boy do? Dressed as a pirate for his Halloween costume. That is the predicate. Add punctuation to make the sentence correct. The teacher announced that there would be no homework. Period at the end. What is the meaning of the underlined word? The solution to his problem is simple. Solution, another word for solution, a synonym would be answer. The answer to his problem is simple. Write F for fact or O for opinion. Bears are mean. That's an opinion. People could think different things. Bears hibernate during the winter. That would be a fact. You can prove it, prove it true or false. Circle the complete subject. The prickly porcupine rolled up in a ball for protection. Who or what is this sentence about? Well, the prickly porcupine is the complete subject. Complete the analogy. Pretty, this stands for is to, beautiful, as, grin, is to, what? So we first need to look at how these first two words relate to each other. Pretty and beautiful. How do those words relate to each other? Did you say they were synonyms or they meant the same? If so, you are right. So now I need to find what word means the same as grin. What's another word for grin? Did you say smile? If you did, you are correct. Grin means the same thing as smile. Circle the nouns in the sentence below. The prince rescued the princess from the ogre. Well, prince would be a noun, princess would be a noun, and ogre would be a noun. What type of figurative language is the following sentence? 
He was as hungry as a horse. Simile will use the words like or as to compare. Metaphor says something is something else or things are something else. So he was as hungry as a horse. You're comparing him to a horse or his hunger to a horse and you see the word as, so that makes it a simile. Simple sentence or compound sentence. The tiny hedgehog lived and played in his large cage. This is a simple sentence. Which of the following words are compound words? So two words pushed together to make one. Snowman, yep. Cooperation, nope, just long. Portable, nope, it has a, pre or it has a base word and a suffix, but not two words. Afternoon, yes. Check if the word is a noun, verb, or adjective. Awkward, awkward, you could describe something as being kind of uncomfortable, or it doesn't look quite right. So like an awkward tree might not have all of its leaves. It might have some strange looking limbs. So it's a descriptive word and it makes it an adjective. Write F for fragment, S for sentence. Remember, a sentence needs to have a subject and a predicate and if it doesn't, then it's a fragment. Crickets chirp loudly. Does it have a subject? Yep. Does it have a predicate? Yes, so that's a sentence. Nice, friendly people. Does it have a subject? Yes, nice, friendly people. Does it say what they do? No, so it's a fragment. It's missing a predicate. The crowd cheered. Does it have a subject? Yes, the crowd. What did they do? They cheered. That's a sentence. The tiny, cute hedgehog. Does it have a subject? Yes. Does it have a predicate? No, so it's a fragment. Please make sure that you have all of your answers checked and corrected, and then you may submit this to Schoology Weekly Language Review number 10.